This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this video is going to cover file organization in your game dev projects. It's not the most glamorous topic, but it's one that becomes increasingly important as your project expands. In tutorial videos, you either don't need folders to organize files, or you just have a few like scripts, prefabs, maybe materials. And technically this works, particularly for projects with a narrow scope. With a few exceptions, Unity doesn't really require you to organize your files at all. So why am I making this video? Why is file organization important? Well, it's important because it affects how easy it is both for you and for your game to access your files and to be able to do so consistently. Designer access is important because Unity is built to make it easy so that you can manually assign assets in the inspector. For this reason, it's really beneficial to have a file hierarchy that allows you to find a relevant asset quickly and easily. You want things to be arranged in a way that makes sense so that you can quickly grab something and put it into the inspector or into your scene without having to search. You also need to consider being able to access files via scripts, because chances are somewhere in your game something's going to need to access a data file or a prefab or some other asset at runtime. And for that reason, a re reliable file structure is critical. Your program is going to be relying on a particular file path, whether it's something that you've written ahead of time or something that it's being created programmatically. If a file isn't where the program is expecting it to be, your program's probably not going to be able to go searching for it. So I think we can agree that file organization is important. So how do we get started with this? There is no one best way to organize your files. Even two very similar projects may benefit from different file structures. Instead, this video is meant to give you some ways to think about your file structure and some general approaches you can take. The first approach you can take is organizing by file type. This is convenient because you're going to know where to look for a particular type of file, and likewise if you have a new file, you know exactly where to put it. The problem is you're going to end up having assets for different parts of your game all grouped together. And likewise, if you're trying to work on one particular part of your game, all of the assets for that are spread across multiple folders. The system makes logical sense, but it really doesn't support a normal workflow. Still, the system can be good for small games with limited assets, and also for things like subdirectories or working on simple mechanics or a small project like a tutorial. Another option is organizing by file relevance. This is where you group things together by what they affect. For example, you might put your main menu scripts, prefabs, and textures all into one folder. This can create more gray areas for what folder a particular asset should belong to, and it will require more setup as you build out more sections of your game. But ultimately, this system is going to probably be better for bigger projects and is more workflow friendly. You're likely going to be working on one mechanic or section of your game at a time, and it helps to have all of the assets associated with that in one place. Chances are you're probably going to use a mix of these two approaches. Some assets make more sense to be stored by type, other mechanics may you may want to have organized by their relevant files. There's also a third option to consider here, which is file categorization. It's kind of an in-between approach, and it leans a little bit more toward relevance. This makes a lot of sense if you're using something like a very systems-driven game or something with procedural generation, where a given class or another asset might apply to many different objects within your game. So you're going to organize by these broader mechanics or systems, but there still may be some things that require more specific organizing. So in addition to these approaches that you can take, I want to talk about some important folders within a um, Unity project or really any game dev project, although these first ones are going to be kind of Unity specific and affect actually how Unity works and builds your game out. The first is the assets folder. This is also sometimes called the root folder and depending on where you're looking online, you may see it, you, those names used interchangeably. And one thing I've seen and I think makes a lot of sense with the assets folder is to avoid putting files here if possible. Um, really what you want your assets folder to be is kind of the hub where you have all of your other subdirectories. If you have just a, a simple file in that assets folder, it means it really hasn't been organized anywhere and doesn't belong to anything. The next type of folder is called an editor folder. And it's literally just named editor. And what the basic idea of this folder is, is that anything that you put in here will not be included in the build of your game. So this is very useful for files that are like things like developer tools or things that are affecting the inspector or creating new windows and stuff within the Unity um, project space. You can actually create multiple um, editor folders in different locations if you want to, and none of the contents of any of them will be included in the final build of your game. Now, it is worth noting that if you put assets into these folders, they may not be detectable by um, scripts and stuff that are outside of the folder, so do be careful of that. Technically speaking, you shouldn't really be having those, those two shouldn't need to interact to begin with, but be advised that that can be a thing that will happen. 
Uh, on the flip side of that, there are resources folders. And resources folders are basically there for files that are not used in any given scene, but you want to have access to, to make sure they get built into your game. By default, Unity will not include any files that aren't being used by one of the build scenes within your game. Um, and so this is a way to make sure that if there's, say, a file that you just want to access at runtime, but you don't have specifically placed into one of the scenes you're building, it will still be in the build of your game so it's still accessible. We can even take this a step further with another folder called Streaming Assets. Streaming Assets not only keeps those files in your build, but it keeps them in their native format too. This is really useful for things like data files so that you can still access them in their pure form and be able to make changes to them and the game will still be able to access them as well. This is a folder that you actually are limited to only one of and it should be in your, it actually must be in your assets folder um, when you create it, but then it will keep anything inside of it as its formatted type. Um, there are more Unity specific um, folders as well, but these are kind of the main ones. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video to um, a page that Unity has that lists out all of their very, um, these special folders that you can access. Now a couple other folders that don't actually affect how Unity works but are good to have. First one is a folder for third-party assets. Um, this is just a good um, practice to get into because while, your, while the assets that you download should have some kind of a self-contained structure, if you just put them right into the um, assets folder and any of their folders match the name of one of your folders, it's just going to combine those and you're suddenly going to have a lot of files that are getting intermingled and you may not want that. So by creating this kind of extra step of a third-party assets folder inside of your root folder, it will um, make sure that those things aren't um, colliding by accident. It can even be good to take it a step further and create a specific folder for each asset that you're downloading. Another good idea is to have a sandbox folder, which is kind of just a place where you can experiment with new mechanics or new elements of your game, kind of put the scripts and any associated assets in there. But because they're kind of contained within that sandbox folder, you know that you can just kind of eliminate them if they you know, don't end up working out. It is important to note that you shouldn't have any, uh, anything outside of the sandbox um, depending on anything inside the sandbox, because the whole point of it is that you can clear it out um, without it affecting the rest of your game. So, like I say, this isn't me prescribing a particular way to organize all your folders, but it is a number of topics that you can think about and find what's going to work best for your game and what's going to work best for your workflow so that you're able to access the assets when you need them and um, get more done in more efficiently uh, with the time that you have to work on your game. So thanks for watching and hope this helps you with your game dev and I'll see you next time.